Hey, I'm Carbo Brother. I'm Chris Nelson, President of Carbo. Really excited to introduce a new muzzle brake for the Keltec Sub 2000 or your Ruger PC carbine or your pistol, anything. If you've got a 9mm or a 40 caliber pistol, firearm, you name it, it'll thread on, it'll work for it. It's a fantastic hybrid in that it'll reduce felt recoil and muzzle flip. So, took the best of both worlds, put it into one product, and we can't wait to release it, guys. And now we're releasing it today. I promised you guys it'd be today. It is today. Staying here late, make sure it happens. Excited. I know the M. Carver Brothers is excited. You guys have been just phenomenal. All your feedback, range feedback, all the hard work you guys put into it, we put into it. It's been a long time in the making. I know we are ready to release this and we're so thrilled to finally have it here, done, ready to go. Let's get on over the tabletop, not waste any more time, put this baby in. Parts and tools needed for this build, the Caltech Sub 2000 muzzle brake by M. Carbo, either the nine millimeter or the 40 caliber, depending on your firearm, a 13 16 wrench or an adjustable crescent wrench. Either one will work just fine. Bottle of rock set and masking tape. As always, let's go ahead and check our firearms together, make sure they're clear, check the chamber, check the bolt face, check the magazine well, this firearm's clear. Let's go ahead and open up our Keltec Sub 2000 muzzle brake by M. Carbo. This is what you're gonna get when you actually receive the product. You're gonna get the actual muzzle brake with the custom machined jam nut to go with it, which is a phenomenal way to lock up the muzzle brake rather than some of the other competitors that have subpar set screws that'll fall out, ours won't. It's actually designed to locate inside the muzzle brake that counter force and to make sure that that counter force is set properly, a laser cut blue tempered steel thin wrench, and that's key. It's thin enough to actually get onto the nut which is gonna be hard to find any sort of wrench aftermarket to do that. So go ahead and we'll open them up. We'll go ahead and we'll get started on this. And you'll see here, just beautifully machined. So this is actually run on the lathe and then on the CNC mill. So it's really a phenomenal part. A lot of detail, a lot of intricacy involved here. Um, you can see that you've got this port on top and then these 45 degree angular ports on the side. This is what provides that muzzle brake like effect where it actually reduces felt recoil, redirecting the gases backward. This provides that compensator like effect as it's directing gas upward, eliminating that muzzle flip. So it's a nice combination, hybrid, really phenomenal piece of equipment to add on the end of that barrel. We've already got a threaded tip of the barrel anyway. Let's make use of it. So it's fantastic. Now this jam nut is unique in that it provides that counter force. So we actually thread on the muzzle brake and then we provide this jam nut that works in the opposite direction, really cinching it down together. And then holding it in place is gonna be the rock set, which is phenomenal. Now, the deal with the rock set is you've got blue Loctite, red Loctite, those are great, but with a barrel it gets hot. Now the rock set has got a temperature rating up to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, which it's phenomenal. I mean, if your barrel's glowing red, you probably shot it out anyway and that's about the temperature, glowing red steel, hot. So the rock set is the best. Now the cool thing is it's got the strength of blue Loctite, so it's easily removable, but it's got the heat temperature rating that exceeds the red Loctite. So the red Loctite has got a lot more strength and it's got a higher temperature rating. The blue Loctite has no temperature rating and a much lower strength rating. So the rock set is the best of both worlds, especially for this application. So I'd highly recommend rock set for any muzzle brake for that matter. And not to mention, this isn't only the sub 2000 muzzle brake as we mentioned previously here. It'll work for anything that's got a nine millimeter thread or a 40 caliber thread. So you really got a world of options here when it comes to what application you can use this. It's endless. You can use it on any firearm with these thread options, nine mil, 40, you're good. So let's go ahead and jump in to the installation. And like I said in the intro there, you only need a wrench. So if you've got a 13 16 wrench, that's what we designed it for, all right? And when I say we designed it for, we designed it so that you could actually do a specific amount of wraps around your muzzle brake. And this is to protect the finish. So you do four wraps. You want to make sure it's nice and cushioned. No no scratching up the muzzle brake for any unnecessary reason. If we're going to do it, we want to have a story to go with it. <laughs> So four wraps and you're good, okay? So 13 16 wrench, nice and snug with those four wraps. I think I had four and a half there, so I would recommend sticking to the instructions right at four. So there you go, and it's nice and snug, so we're good. But the idea is to actually have enough clearance for four wraps, and that's what we did. We actually measured how thick is four wraps of tape. Boom, we added it, and we put it together so that you could actually wrap it 
and it'll work just fine. So that's set, good to go. Now the other thing is we'll take our rock set and we'll apply that to the threads. Now if you've got the newer barrel, which this just came back from Caltech, they did the um, recall on it, so we've got the new barrel, but we had the old hex nut before. Now that, you'd have to get a wrench, take the hex nut off, but it's a thread protector, just like this. This is the knurled hand thread protector, so you can remove it by hand, tighten it on by hand. So we're good now, let's set that aside. Let's go ahead and grab our custom jam nut, which we machined for just this application. Pretty phenomenal. Really impressed with the machining. Um, the guys at the shop are awesome. Kyle and the whole crew, phenomenal. So we'll go ahead and put our rock set in here. Kyle is actually just here. Everybody was here. Everybody stayed late today to make sure we actually got this released. So as I'm talking here, I'm putting three drops, all right? I just spaced it out, you know, one, two, three, all right, on the inside threads. And just want to see it go around the threads, just enough to go around. Now I'm do the same on this jam nut. So definitely make sure you got your three drops on there. And what's really unique about the rock set is the temperature rating. So you're going to get that 1500 degree protection against any sort of melting. So blue Loctite will melt under extreme temperature and eventually red Loctite will as well over 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So with the actual rock set, you're protected up to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is phenomenal. You won't have to worry about your bond breaking. So that actual adhesion, you won't have to worry about losing that under rapid fire or just extended use. So once you tighten down your jam nut all the way flush, then go ahead and thread on the muzzle brake and then back it off until it's level, okay? So it's level right there like that, all right? Now we're gonna go ahead and take the wrench that comes with the kit and you're gonna tighten that jam nut up to the back of the muzzle brake, all right? You just wanna get it somewhat snug, okay? Now you're gonna make sure it's good and level, all right? You're gonna take your wrench and you're gonna go ahead and put your wrench on the muzzle brake itself and then you're gonna take your laser cut wrench, hand tight, and then you're gonna cinch it down towards you. So this counter force, so I'm pushing this direction away from myself and I'm pulling in toward myself. So righty tighty, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm actually turning the jam nut to the right as I'm providing some counter force with the bigger wrench. That's phenomenal, that is secure. Doesn't get any tighter than that. So now we can go ahead and remove the masking tape and see if it protected and did exactly what we had intended it to do. Now I will say, be a little careful with that tiny little laser cut wrench on the jam nut. You know, it won't do any significant damage, but you can potentially scratch it since there's no masking tape on that little bitty jam nut but it's up to you if you want to put a little bit of masking tape maybe on the inside of that laser cut wrench you can do that that'll help protect it this is a slow tedious part removing our masking tape Awesome. Nice. That is beautiful. That is awesome. Look at that. So it protected our finish. Oh man, this is a beautiful part. This is awesome. This is exactly what we needed, exactly what we wanted. We wanted to put something functional and useful on the end of the barrel here, and now we finally have it. I love this thing. Beautiful. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's amazing. And not only does it work on your Sub 2000, it also works on your Ruger PC carving. Like I said, anything with a 9mm thread, 40 caliber thread, you're good.
New kel Sub-2000 muzzle brake, but not just for the Sub. You've got a 9mm or a 40 cal with a threaded barrel, you've got a muzzle brake for it now. And it's a muzzle brake hybrid in that it works like a muzzle brake and a compensator. So it'll reduce that felt recoil and it'll reduce that muzzle flip. So rapid fire will be much more controllable now. You're not gonna have all that rise. It's gonna be much more stable, much more accurate, much more deliberate. And that's what we want. We want ultimate control, ultimate precision. And we do these things to enhance the performance and function of our firearm. So here it is, one easy, simple package. And the fact that it's a hybrid, that it works as a muzzle brake and a compensator is a really unique advantage and what sets us apart from the rest. So we're really happy about this one. Really appreciate your support and your ideas. The M Carbo Brotherhood helped us design this and test it. And the reviews are phenomenal. You guys gave us a lot of awesome range feedback, even helped us make the finishing touches on this. So we really appreciate your support. If you're not on the M Carbo Brotherhood forum, I'd highly encourage you to jump over there, see what these guys are talking about. It's a great group, probably much like yourself and myself. Really happy to be a part of it. And uh, I went MIA there recently, so thanks guys for creating a little thread about me. I'm happy to be back on and finally have a little bit of time. So I'm really thankful we got this one released. And we got it released just in the nick of time. We promised it'd be today, and it is done. Nobody else is here but me. <laughs> so happy, thankful, really appreciate it, guys. Let me know what you think, and uh, happy shooting.